the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hello children welcome to our english class stop worrying about what you have to lose and start focusing on what you have to gain okay children this is your high time to cross your sixth standard so focus on your studies and the best in life okay i'll move to the lesson the champ your shubha teacher taught you about the first part yes till a village girl i'll move to the picnic we are going for a picnic on the banks of the river yamuna this saturday announced radha's uncle in the evening when he returned from office hurray shouted ranjit and aman we'll call gaurav neha and samir also we'll swim and go for boating oh what fun we'll have the boys were very excited radha too was excited and looked forward to the day of picnic so here radha's uncle announced that they will be moving for a picnic on coming saturday this drove the children happiness yes children on saturday they started early in the morning and by noon they were at a beautiful secluded spot on the banks of the yamuna secluded means not seen by many people very calm area this place was at the foothills of shivalik and the blue water of the river was crystal clear that much clear water the weather was pleasant and a cool breeze was blowing so on saturday they all started for picnic and arrived at a wonderful serene spot the place which was at the foot hills of shivalik and the water blue color very crystal clear okay children that must clear water so the weather was pleasant with a cool breeze nalla sugamulla kaat after lunch the grown ups got busy with their card game and the children went out to explore the surrounding woods woods means forest the children went inside the wood and the bigger one they started playing cards radha went with them for a while but soon felt out a of place and separated from them she came back took her book and settled down on a big rock near the water edge and started reading soon she heard some voice and looked up she saw ranjit amon and the friend samir gaurav and neha coming in her direction so what happened everyone was busy so by that time radha went with the children to explore the forest but immediately she came out and start reading her books she settled for reading her books is yes, she heard some voice and she looked up she saw her friends that is cousin friends they were moving towards her okay hey let's go into the water it's cool and inviting suggested ranjit oh goody goody means good what fun man shouted they wore their swimming costumes soon all of them were in the water 
shouting and laughing and enjoying themselves radha watched them wistfully okay wistfully means nostalgic that is regretfulness okay a little beyond there a little beyond where ranjit amon and their friends were playing in the water the current was very swift swift means sudden quick radha saw amon very near to it amon don't go beyond that big boulder the current is very fast there she warned don't bother radha we all know swimming and can take care of ourselves aman replied carelessly radha felt sad and went back to her book so here what happened children radha was enjoying this situation but she warned amon not to go near that swift area it's that uh, water it's in the current waves she warned but Amman replied very careless Radha felt sad and went back to her book itself so now the danger Amman Amman come back you fool Radha heard the shouts she quickly looked up and found Amman caught in the current and being carried away rapidly towards the middle of the river all the others were shouting but no one dared to jump into the current radha quickly took off her shoes and jumped into the water so what happened radha heard someone shouting for amon isn't it so what she did she removed her shoes no one was ready to help aman but without anybody's noise or any asking radha immediately removed her shoes and jumped into that water yes children when she surfaced she saw aman trying hard to swim against the current but the current was too swift for him and he was finding it difficult to swim against it Radha didn't find swimming against the current difficult as she was used to swimming in the swift stream in the hill soon Radha caught up with Amon and he was shocked and thoroughly exhausted exhausted means very tired who Amon so here what happened children Radha immediately removed her shoes and jumped into the water why there amon was trying hard to swim but that's not the problem for radha so radha caught amon isn't it and what about that boy's situation he was shocked and thoroughly exhausted means thoroughly fully tired okay helping hand Don't panic Amon I'll here to help you Radha said soothingly just hold my waist with one hand and try to paddle slowly with your feet I'll carry you with me Amon did exactly what he was told Radha started swimming back slowly now with Amon's weight it was tough for her to swim against the current she used all her strength and inched back towards the river bank by the time she reached there a big crowd had gathered half a dozen hands caught hold of her someone said let go of amon we are here so what happened radha consoled amon yes and told him that she will be carrying Amon did what Radha said. What, children, why can't he do the same thing? Yes, this is a lesson for us also. What elders are saying, we should obey them. That's very important, children. So here, Radha swimmed back slowly with all her full power. Yes, children. As soon as she reached the river bank. with aman a big crowd got gathered they took aman from that place and they said now they protected aman yes children 
Then someone scooped her out of water and laid her down slowly on the sand. She was panting and her throat was dry. She shivered con uncontrollably. Someone brought a blanket and wrapped it around her. She closed her eyes. So what happened? Someone scooped her means took her from that water and laid her slowly on the sand. She was panting. Panting means kidap. Yes, children, kedakki avala attarayim avenayim kondu nindhi vannadalli. Full avalum, fully shivering ana. Verachu kedakki ana kutikki patchu nilya. But someone brought blanket and wrapped her. Avala cover iyaam. And with that she closed her eyes. Drink this. She heard her aunt's voice and opened her eyes. eyes her aunt was holding a hot mug of streaming coffee this will give you strength radha drank two mugs of coffee and felt quite relieved so immediately aunt came near her and she said drink this coffee with that she opened her eyes and she drank two mugs that is two full mugs of coffee okay her hey cham you are great she looked up and saw ranjit looking at her sheepishly what a swimmer you are you swim like a fish but i don't know any style radha replied with a tinge of bitterness children that sheepish that meaning look at the last page of the textbook page number 160 there you can see the meaning looking or feeling embarrassed because you have done something wrong cheyidathu tettu ennu aranjittu oraale good ennu parayna avastha okay that's the meaning of sheepish who was doing like that ranjit ranjit said you champ yes ranjit congratulated radha with that word but radha replied with a tinge of bitterness tinge means some sigh sigh of bitterness i am not a swimmer like that oh please forgive us radha we eat our words we take back our words but i will love to learn your style your very own style radha said ranjit and held out his hand to her radha's face glowed with happiness so by saying these things ranjit showed her hand as a friend now radha was happy yes children it's a beautiful story by girija rani astana yes children so it's a beautiful story now i'll move to the activity page number 148 activity 6 hey let's go into the water it's cool and inviting in this sentence let's is used to make a suggestion to a group that include the speaker so children we are using this let let's yes are based on the same verb which means to allow or give permission it's the third person singular present tense form of verb let okay so we are using this to give permission here teacher let's play an interesting game today shall we yes sir we like games well then get ready let's start now so like that you want to do the remaining exercise it it is priya's birthday today shall we invite our friends instead of shall we let's invite our friends okay the next one uncle said we can go for a picnic let's go for a picnic okay children so do this activity the next one read the following sentences but alas here also her cousins disappointed her tears ran down her cheeks by the time she reached there a big crowd had gathered half a dozen hands caught hold of her here countable and uncountable nouns we want to separate So children what is a countable noun what is an uncountable noun what if it is possible for us to count that is countable 
that is an apple two apple three apple a dozen of apple that all we can count okay we can't count leaf how many leaves are there in a tree we can't count air sand water that is uncountable which we cannot count that is uncountable okay so from this you should separate the words and write it in the concern boxes okay children then activity 8 in the story the champ a man met with an accident there was no sign board warning the tourist about the possibilities of danger at the picnic spot we can avoid many accidents if there are more proper sign boards warning boards can you prepare some sign boards warning boards like the ones given below dangerous current swimming prohibited yes where all we can see the sign board when we are moving through the highway we'll see warning is caution road work is in progress go slow yes children then current area prohibited areas then under cctv surveillance like that so remaining boxes you should fill and do this editing work also with this we completed the second volume okay children we'll meet you later okay bye